Hey everyone, Matthew Rice here, stop motion creator. And today we're gonna to be continuing our armature building and this time focusing it on the feet. For this section, we will need, obviously, our armature, epoxy, two T-nuts, one for each foot, and gloves. I learned my lesson last time. First and foremost, let's get the armature feet ready. I'm just gonna stretch the wiring so I can fit the T-nuts. Then we'll wrap that wire around the top of the T-nuts and place some tape over the top of the hole so none of the epoxy is down inside of the threading. I'm gonna mash up the epoxy just like before when making the armature. We smash that together for roughly 30 seconds. Make sure it's completely mixed together and form it over top of the foot. These are simple feet, so I'm not worried about any specific detail. And again, slowing everything down um, just so you can see. But really important is that you do want to keep um, all the epoxy as much as you can outside. You don't want anything to get in on the threads. It's just going to actually hinder you later if you're doing a lockdown with your uh, armature. Obviously, there are different ways to lock your armature down. Some people use um, rigs only. Some people... Um, use uh, magnets um, this way is a little bit older way to do it um, where you actually can use like a pegboard uh, with holes through it um, and get your carriage bolts or different bolts uh, or bolt with like a wing nut on the bottom which will actually then lock directly into this so what you do is this will actually go under the board itself and it'll lock into the feet like so and then you just use your wing nut to tighten that as much as you can and it really just kind of locks those feet in so when you want it to look like something with weight hitting the table or with foot hitting it gives it more of the impression and it also, again, just really locks your character down. And a good way just to make sure nothing's in here. Hang it out. But that is some basic wire armature feet.